Leonard on the play. Brings up third and four. The Giants on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. And they'll get this down to the 10. That's good for a Giants. First Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes?
Catton's arrow after the touchdown to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. Still going inside the 30. Room to run at the 50. A fumble on the play recovered by Washington. Oftentimes when we talk about piling on in any subject, it's a negative. In this case, for this team, it's a real positive. Just scored. Now they go down, knock the ball free, get it back. They got a chance to really increase their lead and put themselves in the driver's seat. On the other side, a little insult added to the injury. They're in a bad spot. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. Still going. What's up? There he goes, left side. And finally out of bounds down near the 10 yard line. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 46 yards on the ground. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and he'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's a sneak with Jones. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal at the eight yard line. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight yard line, second and goal. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here onto their total. And he's going to keep it here. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Tackle made at the five-yard line. A big play coming here. It's third and goal. Third and goal. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Operating from the gun, Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Fourth and goal, Charles, all the time. You see those offense, especially the quarterback, the running back, looking over the sideline saying, don't send the kicker out. There they did it, and it paid off. It's really nice to see what they wanted actually done. And how about the coaches getting their faith rewarded by a touchdown? And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. Now Catton Zero after the touchdown to kick it away. Looking into the snowflakes and he muffs it. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. At their own 34-yard line. 
A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now Haskins on first down. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. Pass the 20. 10. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Meanwhile, here's a shot for the end zone right away, but it's incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Another shot from the one on second and goal. From the gun, Haskins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. He was looking for Trey Quinn that time, but now it's third and goal. And now third and goal following incompletions on first and second down. Haskins back to the air. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Julian Love. Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. He's at the 50, the 40. He's at the 30. There it is. There it is. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. 